Next we have Terry from Dare. Thank you, everyone. I'm Terry. I'm the housing organizer at DARE. First, can you hear me well? First, I want to start by saying there's a lot of healing that needs to be done. And we are here to address an imbalance that has existed throughout civilization, countering economic and social disparities. It's time for, it's time to invest in Rhode Island. And we're not talking about a heavy taxation here. We're talking about 1%, which will prove to be lucrative in communities that need it the most. Communities that have been hurt by the most brute force economically. It's time to shift the narrative and focus on the people that need it the most. Focus on housing for all, sustainable jobs, reliable, safe child care. As we focus, as we focus on health in this pandemic, we must remember that housing is also essential. Let's talk about social healing. You rebuild and you rehabilitate not tear it down, not knock a person down. A 1% tax to Rhode Island's wealthiest will allow Rhode Island to thrive and save lives. People need services and opportunity for all, not just some people, not the select few. This goes all the way back to the Romans. And for us, black indigenous people of color it's always been we need laws and services our communities need this tax to build and help maintain lower income BIPOC and marginalized communities from self-destruction from oppression from gentrification from genocide so that we may exist as equally as someone with white counterparts. And that includes the abolition of racist systems. Support reentry. Support reentry resources like housing and job training. It's time for Rhode Island to look out for Rhode Island at the state and local level. It's really inhumane how folks who can help do not help when a person is down. Homelessness, unhoused folks and their families are now sleeping in their cars, looking for a safe place to park at night without being told or told to move their vehicles. You couple all of this together with global warming, the world isn't dying, the world is trying to survive. It's time for Rhode Island to thrive, which is transform, heal, renew by investing in a vibrant economy. And also, I want to say stop evictions and save lives. Rhode Island needs a moratorium at the state and local level that's going to keep people housed during this pandemic. Thank you. Thank you, Terry.